Thank you so much for staying with us. Uh, this is the one on one and with me in studio tonight is the lovely Avril. Tonight I get to talk to her, find out more about her and I'm sure you guys you know, also want to know a little bit about this star that you've seen grace your TV screens. She's got amazing videos and a lot of people have called her Kenya's sweetheart. She's got that lovable and warm personality and her style has evolved and matured with time. But before I get to chat with her, check her out for yourself. Awesome, as usual. Thank how you. are you, girl? I'm good, how are you? Wow, good to see you. Good to see you as well. Beauty, beautiful, lovely as usual. Thank you. And you're here in the flesh. Yeah. Twitter I is going crazy. People Everybody, have been tweeting me yeah. from like 6 p.m. Yeah, know, it's, Everybody it's, it's is excited amazing. to have you here. Yeah, and thank you so pleasure. much for coming. My pleasure. So, Avril, mm -hmm. I want to call you Nyabura because, you know. <laughs> So what do they call you at home? They call me Nyambura. Mm -hmm. My mom is actually watching right now. Yeah. So like, hi mom, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> That's so sweet. Yeah. So Avril, this is your stage name. I mean, how did that come mm. about? Why Avril? I was born in April. Mm -hmm. So French, Avril, yes. Yeah. Um, for a very long time when I was in high school, I kind of like just coined the name for myself yeah. and it stuck. And later on during a university and then later on in life, 
the name just stuck. So mm -hmm. I just chose it to be my stage name and that's how it's been. Yeah, um, and you know, every artist has a story. Where did this begin for you? A lot of them started in the shower. Where did yours begin? Mine didn't start in the shower. Mm -hmm. And for many artists, especially singers, um, uh, their, their careers like start in the choir, in church and such. But for me, I really cannot like pinpoint. I was very much on stage, you know, always performing, yeah. doing this one thing or the other. So I think it just it's just something that okay. grew. Right. And then my producer Lucas from Ogopa DJs identified it and just made sure I capitalize on it. So right. that's how it's been. Yeah, but I want to go back to when you were in school, um, mm -hmm. you know, because you seem very well spoken, you seem very <laughs> confident. Um, you seem like one of those girls who are probably either the head girl <laughs> or a prefect or a teacher's pet. Oh wow, teacher's pet, eh? Yeah. I was actually a school captain, okay. yes. I was a head girl for very many, um, in, in very many of um, my years in school, uh -huh. I was in one position of authority or the other when it comes to clubs, when it comes to organizations. Uh -huh. And the highest position I did hold was, yes, school right. captain when right. I was in my A-levels. Okay. And so, you know, we started seeing this little girl on our TV screens. You yeah. started with Mama. And then, you know, with time, you know, your style, has you know, evolved. has matured, yeah. has evolved, you know, That's with true. Kitu Kimoja and my favorite, Hakuna Yule. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll get to those specifics and, yeah. and what those are all about. But, you know, we know you from Mama. Yeah. Let's talk about that and, and just your growth. Yeah. yeah, I have definitely grown in front of people's eyes. Yeah. Um, when I joined the industry, I was very young. I was in campus. I actually started my career when I was still at the university. I was in second year. Yeah. So it was a bit confusing at first. Mm -hmm. uh, they were, Ogopa wanted to sign me a little bit earlier than my second year, but I felt like I wasn't very uh, comfortable mm -hmm. with being signed when I was 19 years old. So yeah. for me, it's just been, it's been a fairy tale, man. You know, those things you dream about and then they actually do come yeah. true. Yeah. I, when uh, the industry actually started growing in Kenya, especially the urban uh, urban pop music started like evolving in Kenya with the Isas and the Namelesses and the, all these people. I got a fascination about the music industry and for me it wasn't really like a fascination about just the music but being part of you know the creation of this music. Yeah. So I, I I consulted a few producers here and there when I was back in Nakuru. By the way, that's my hometown. Oh, you're from Nakuru, yes, by the way. Yes, yes. Wow. But you are Nakuru. Wako, they're watching. I hope you haven't forgotten them because Nairobi has owned you now. It, it, it has. Yeah. It has and has not. Yeah. Because I'm, everywhere I go, I definitely tell people that I'm from Nakuru. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I interacted with a couple of producers. And you encompass here, where? In Nairobi, in University Nairobi of Nairobi. University studying what? I was at the School of Art and Design okay. under the um, Architecture, Design and Development, so under the School of Art and Design. I studied product design, graduated in 2010. Yay, she's a, yes, you, I'm a she, she is a diva, a graduate. <laughs> so you know you've got to you've got to balance you these have things to, even as you yeah. You know, you, you are bombarded by all these people in boardrooms and they want you to sign contracts. And if you do not have like a level of um, of maturity, especially when it comes to your books then you are definitely going to be swindled. People which are going is, to... Which is fascinating about yeah. you because you still remain grounded. You're 19 years old. You get into this industry and a lot of people perhaps would get, you know, um, distracted, you true, know, true. for lack of a better word. But you, you know, managed to get past school, graduate. I, I would... Th that is definitely the work of my parents because they taught me to always stay grounded wherever, whenever. If anything happens, you always have to stay, you know, uh, you just mm -hmm. you just grounded. So you were saying that this has has served it, as a bonus for you, just being yes. having gone through school. And, it definitely yeah, has in, and in you your see, musical career. And just not the education that you get in school, but the people you get to interact with in yeah. school. Yeah. All these people you get to interact with from different backgrounds also helps you to have the patience first and foremost, and also the knowledge of how you can be able to deal with one person and then the next person. You have to learn how to, yeah. you know, interact with people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, you know, having spoken about school, um, I want to talk about your style, you know, your fashion sense. You also started with the Kango. You <laughs> would know, do, right? you know, the, the cap. And now, you know, you're sexier and then, you know, you've got this different hairdos yeah. and these sexy outfits. I love the way you do. Thank I mean, do you dress yourself like in your videos and whatever? Um, do you have a stylist that you work with? I actually, um, I do dress myself, but most of the times I get stuff from Achi Otigo. Okay. She was my classmate back at uh, the University of Nairobi mm -hmm. and we have grown to become friends right. through the years. So most of my red carpet looks you'll definitely 
see me in an Archie or Tigo mm -hmm. outfit. Wow. But the rest, when it comes to like now, such kind of things, that I just but you always you always stuff. you always step out in style. Thank you. You know, I'm I'm on your Instagram <laughs> checking out tips. You know, wow, how did she? Oh, shucks, this making out? me blush. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's talk about Kito Kimoja. Um, yeah. you know, a love song. So a bit of a change in your style of music. You're yeah. growing. You're maturing. Yeah. And then you know, Hakuna Yule. Let me. First of all, Kitu Kimoja is a much sought after song in weddings. Do you know that? Are you aware I that was, a lot of people... Someone sent me a tweet um, uh, and the tweet read, I'm just going to paraphrase it, uh, just about to have our first dance as Mr. and Miss and the song we are dancing to is Kitu Kimoja. Wow. I swear I cried. Yeah. I was like in tears. It, it's, it's an amazing feeling when you get feedback like this from people. When you write a love song, you 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 don't have like uh, you know um, the whole world in mind. You probably have like an inspiration from one thing, a situation in your life, such kind of thing. So at that time, I can be able to relate. Love. <laughs> <laughs> at that time, you know, because as women, and, and I don't know about you artists, but yeah. you know, when you're in a good mood, you know, you're as you're shining true. at work, you're yeah. doing things better. I mean, when you're in love, that is, yeah. you're you're in a good mood, you're shining at work, you're probably writing better songs. So I I suppose at that time it was a good time in your life. It actually was not really a very good time in my life. I was speaking from a point of wanting to be in that space. Okay. So I put myself in that space and I just closed my eyes and I went like, Lucas, let's write this song. Yeah. That song took me like three months to write. That's really? how hard it was yeah. because when you're inspired by something that you're not really in, then it's a bit difficult. Mm. So I would write, rewrite, write, rewrite, write, rewrite, told to go and, yeah. you know, do the thing all over again. Which which is what I like about you because I think, you know, you're not as regular. You don't have a single every other week out there on the airwaves. But when you finally, when we finally yeah. hear something from you, it's quality wow. and it's good and it's deep and I like that. Thank and you. let's talk about um, Hakuna Yule. Yeah. Were you talking about someone? It's sad. It's deep. You know. Yeah. You know. You're missing somebody. Yeah. And then in the video, it's it's this guy who has gone out to war, mm -hmm. and then he never comes back home. Yeah. It's really sad. It was very sad. It was yeah. a very very sad song. And the reason why we shot the video in that manner is because that was actually what inspired me. That particular song. Um, many a times we forget that the people who are in the military, in the police force guys who are defending uh, our, our borders, all these people have families, someone who's stolen his heart back home and we, we, don't really, we don't really see that. So for me, I was like, if I actually wrote a song as a wife to someone or a, a girlfriend to someone who is not home, how would that be? Mm. And then we just we just yeah, sat I down it. and I, lo wrote I love it. it's deep and, and the message yeah. in it is I mean it's you amazing. you sit down and you think and it yeah. just cuts across borders you know if you're missing somebody that you yeah. love or um, but talking about somebody that you love of real <laughs> I mean guys have been like ask her ask her <laughs> ask her you know you've been oh, linked man. to several gentlemen you know mm -hmm. over the years mm -hmm. including Diamond by the way was that was that for real No it was not That was it not was for real not. Okay moving on swiftly so Diamond <laughs> was just work Yeah um, this South African gentleman oh that you've been God. photographed with yes that you're giddy about that is you know I'm blushing about right now. hot on your heels <laughs> tell us about this guy well my zulu man Ooh. oh gosh um <laughs> and he has a name your zulu man that's nice my zulu man he's actually watching right now streaming live from johannesburg um yeah, I do have a man in my life. You're turning red. Finally, Crimson. a man. Oh, God. <laughs> On national television. Yeah. I'm, I've been very private about my personal life because I, I didn't feel like um, exposing myself and making myself vulnerable until I found someone who I could be strong with. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I, I have found someone who yeah. I'm very strong around. I am very com He makes me feel very confident about myself. And... So, and wedding like are you engaged? Because there's been talk there's that been talk about you're, you're taken, being... <laughs> this is it, Kenyan guys, forget it, she's gone. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, we're actually making plans. Wow. We, we are, we, we're actually quite serious. We are. That is amazing. So, big up. So, I mean, and this must be a relief for you because, you know, being in this industry and being a celebrity, sometimes you're not really sure who yeah. is after you because you're a real or who likes you because you're just Nyambura. And, you know, it's, it's a bit of a challenge, it I suppose. It is a very big challenge. You yeah. don't know who's fake, who's real. And not only when it comes to relationship, but even just a simple friendship, a simple friend. That's right. Someone who just comes to your life. You do not know what they're after. So you always have to like keep up all, all these walls around you because you don't want to get hurt. 
So for me, that has been the story of my life for a very long time. And and you know, not for a very long time because you're still, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, somebody would be thinking, how old are you, Avril? I mean, anyway, but you know, sometimes the yeah. experiences that we go through sometimes make us feel like we've lived decades and exactly. decades on this earth. True, true, true. Um, I want to talk about cyberbullying and the fact that you know, um, in the past, you've 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 unfortunately, um, you know, been. I don't like calling it a victim, but you've found yourself in a situation where you've had to answer to questions about certain alleged photos mm -hmm. um, that were put out there. And mm -hmm. I think for us as women, some of these things, you know, not even for us as women, just for any human being, yeah. this cyberbullying thing is getting out, out of, of hand. hand. Tell us how, I mean, about this time for you and then just what you went through mm -hmm. and how you recovered from it eventually. Wow. I still get very emotional when I think about um, all these things that have kind of like strengthened me and toughened me up. How I dealt with it, I, I just kept quiet for a while. Because when you react, you know, in life, 10% is what happens to you, 90% about things in life is how you react to stuff. So for me, I just went into a, a quiet place. In my head, in my space, I just went into a quiet place and I was like, how do I really want to react to this? Do I, do I want to make it bigger or do I just want to keep quiet and let them talk when they're, once they're done? Yeah. Moving on moving swiftly. Moving on swiftly. So for me, that, that's how I just reacted. I was mm -hmm. like, you know what? People are going to talk. Whether you do good or bad, by the way, people are going to talk. If you're fattening up, that's a problem to some people. Yeah. If, you're, if you're thin, that's a problem to some people. So you just live your life. Mm -hmm. you, you live your life. And, and to people out there who, who feel like they should you know, they, they should wake up in the morning and, and spoil someone's day just because they can. That, 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 yeah. Imagine yourself in that particular situation. Because mm. at the end of the day, it's not only that person that you are affecting, you're affecting their families. Their families, that's right. You're nice. affecting, um, if, if you have children, you're affecting their children. If, um, if you are, if you are in, um, in, in, in a career, for instance, you're probably affecting that person's career. There's actually something that some people wrote not so long ago about me. I was starring in a role um, as, um, as a criminal and they decided to put a headline, a real now a criminal, and I lost an endorsement yeah. just because of that. Yeah. So there are very many things that you will do and say mm. that will directly affect someone. So and, and, and you know, people, I was discussing this yeah. earlier on today with, with, with one of my mentors and I was just telling her that this cyberbullying thing is getting out it's of getting hand. It's getting out of hand. And, and I think is. it is time that as Kenyans that we just get responsible and just realize that, you know, these are people's lives that you're messing with. These are people's families that you're messing with. That is so true. Um, but um, just you know going on now to do you feel that that made you more popular i mean because you know they say no publicity is bad publicity at the end of the day if people yeah. are talking about you then you're a big deal yeah. just very quickly on that as we move on to if things. people if the world gives you lemons hey yeah. squeeze them up put them in some put some honey in put some water in drink yeah. enjoy life you're, you're cute but you're a toughie <laughs> <laughs> you're those you know you're those silent <laughs> Criminals, quote unquote, you don't even want me mentioning that that word again. Yeah. Um, but you know, we're now seeing you doing a lot of acting. Um, you know, Sumula Penzi um, and uh, Sugar as oh, well. Sugar, yeah, yes. I think your debut was on Sugar. You know, yes. acting. That's when we first saw yes, you on the yes, screen. Yes, yeah. Yes, it was a cameo, and uh, and Sugar Love Sex Money, the first one, mm -hmm. uh, the one that was shot in Kenya. No, the second one that was shot in Kenya. Um, I acted the role of Misbehave. Yeah. And it was a very personal role because I was an actress. Um, and I was playing my life. Yeah. I, wow, I, really? I was the, I was the singer, but then again, in, in front of the camera, I had to be again the persona behind the singer, mm. and that's something that I would never do. You know, when you come when you come to a space like yeah, this, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm Avril, and I am and going proper, to yeah. I am going to be Avril. <laughs> but sugar made me like expose the other side of me, and. It was very therapeutic. Could, was, did you relate yeah. to some of those scenes I and actually, feel like you were actually living your life? I actually did because yeah. um, for a scene, there's a scene where I went for um, HIV testing and um, I was alone. You see, like you said, you never know who your fake friends are and who your real friends are. And in that particular setting, there was all these fake people in, in Miss Behave's life and she was all alone. So. Many times, I by the as a real, I find myself in such situations where you don't really know who's who. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you find yourself alone. Mm. Yeah. But I thank my I, mom, I suppose, my brother, yeah, because they're my best friends. <laughs> I suppose man. you find yourself, you know, 
in the limelight like this and, and, and you know you get stronger and, and you learn True. how to just deal with every curveball you oh, know yeah. okay. we celebrate you and we're so proud of you Thank um, you. you know going forward what are we expecting to see of course you know you've told us about your Zulu man <laughs> and you told us you know about your music and the fact that you're growing so what are we expecting to see from um, you going forward quite a lot of stuff actually um, um, over the years I've been talking about entrepreneurship and it's something that I'm very passionate about, not because my name is Nyambura, but <laughs> yeah. I'm very passionate about entrepreneurship. And there's so many variety of projects that I've been doing here and there, including my, my earphones. People have oh. been, there's some people who have been talking a lot of crap, asking me why <laughs> I've taken so long. But hey, business is not easy. Yeah. You have to do stuff slowly, have a strategy to your madness because if you don't have a strategy to your madness it's just that's madness right, that's right so for me it's just it's i'm taking it slow because i want it to be perfect i just don't want to bring in stuff and people oh. start wondering what that i was trying to do yeah yeah so there's a lot of entrepreneurship in the future mm -hmm. there's also a lot of um, productions coming up and a lot of music as well right. okay. just going so big things, big, big things big things happening somebody here is tweeting and saying i hope you're not going to kono i hope you're not leaving <laughs> I hope you're not leaving us, you know, at least stick no, around for a while. No, no, I'm Kenyan. I'm, yeah. I'm Kenyan, number okay. one. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, you know, just as we wind up, you know, I think what I'm getting out of your story is, is and, and particularly with you, rising above the cyberbullying and just, you know, saying, I'm a real, I'm going to keep doing me. And going to that quiet place, that place that you spoke about. Mm -hmm. A lot of young people, uh, you know, a lot of people who are just trying to make it in this industry and not only for performing artists, but just generally people who are new at the workplace. You know, people are going through a lot of opposition, mm -hmm. particularly on social media. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what do you tell guys, guys who are dealing with some of this, you know, hash and negative energy mm -hmm. who are trying to rise above the, mm -hmm. above that what what do you say to, to those people especially to the young girls out there i know it's very very hard i actually get like texts and emails and and and, and messages all the time about about such frustrations and for me my advice would be just don't be first first and foremost don't be naive don't believe everything and anything that you hear because many times you find like Recently, there's uh, the com uh, some ladies who have been texting me and telling me that there's some people who are conning them off money, registering about modeling and blah blah. Don't be naive. You 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 need to you need to do a little bit more research in what you want to do. If you want to be a musician, talk to musicians, talk to people who are in the industry. We are all on Facebook. We are all on Twitter nowadays. If you send a message, if if you're serious about the message, probably it's going to be answered. Right. So just do your research. Don't be naive and. And dream. Yeah, dream. and be strong. I think just it's, strong. it's just, you know, a lot of people celebrate oh, yeah. you. So even be while, very the, strong. while the negative <laughs> energy is coming it's your way. It's not just about people. the glitz and glam yeah. in this industry. You have to, you have to, you have to really be a strong person, especially when it comes to the East African market, because you have so much talent. Yeah. It's everywhere. So you have to rise above, you know, you have mm. to rise above the rest. That's, so that's, that's, that's it's not good. just about the glitz and And this glam. is totally unrelated. Before you do for us, um, Hakuna, you let missing yeah. you. Um, <laughs> somebody's asking your hair, Avril. Wow, that's that's like you know amazing. It's 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 natural. It's yes. blonde. It's yeah. Um, uh, my hair is natural actually. I don't have any chemical chemicals on it. on it. It's very natural. Um, yeah, but I've colored it. This is not my natural hair color. Yeah, yeah. My, um, my hair color is a yeah, bit darker. Obviously. Yeah. So mom and dad very supportive. Love very what you supportive, do. Very okay. yes. supportive. Siblings. Yes. My brother, mm -hmm. my younger brother, I live with him. We stay together here yeah. in Nairobi. He's studying, so... Mm -hmm. So you're the first one? I am the first one. Wow. We're just two. Wow, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, thanks so much for coming through. Thank you Thank for, you, for you know, being as pleasant and as lovely Thank as always. So and indeed for being a soldier for all the ladies out there who, you know, perhaps would go through, you know, yeah. as harsh, as much of an un unprecedented backlash as you did back then and still yeah. rise above that Thank and still so shine and so that much. endorsement is coming in many more many I'm sure. more so forget you know and my businesses so hey yeah <laughs> <laughs> i heard that you you're so doing a fashion coming. a fashion thing oh yeah so yeah come by we shall be coming very soon <laughs> okay cool man you know hakuna yule that's my favorite yes so, and i yeah. will definitely perform okay. that for you <laughs> Nangali angani, mawingu yam.
me jump Looks like rain is coming Get the money when you money Wrapped up in my arms I reminisce my baby Do ya go like how you smile Like how you say my name It's just your voice I long to hear Like how you smell Like how we met Oh my baby, it's your touch I want to feel Baby, me shut Cause I know that's what you like Keep on looking at my phone Waiting for your call Not just a girl, baby